Hey guys, I'm here. I'm at Wales Comic Con, tell to take over my first time. Um, there's tons of people here. Mark Sorks over there, Mark Ryan's there. Oh my gosh, all the voice actors like along this side. I didn't even realise. Wow. Oh my god. Right, let's have a good time then. So we are here at Robbie Damon's table. Um, <laughs> I know Robbie from Instagram, so obviously, like, seeing him here is just surreal. So, like, Charles Martinet's over there, and then Mick Wingett's down there. I don't know where Kevin Conroy and Will Friedel are, but I really hope to see them today as well. Yeah. Oh, Ruby, yeah. Oh, nice to meet you, Take care. Hi, Ruby. Uh, how are you? What's your name? Amber. Not sure if you know if it's got Amber Leah XX. Oh my gosh! Yes, oh, you're a real person! Hi. Hello! I told you, I was real. What an absolute pleasure to meet you in real life. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I always put my ticket in. Well, I always ask people to sign it before they, um, Orbulon. You brought me an Orbulon. All oh, these little hammies. <laughs> to surprise you. Okay. Um, I see on your table you have no Bumblebee photos. I kind of guessed because he's not one of your popular characters so I did you some fan art of Bumblebee. Oh yes. Oh this is awesome. Thank you. This is really cool. Oh, okay I put a little message on the back because I interview voice actors for my channel. I've been, you're, you've been one of my hot shots I've been trying to get so if you're interested. In I'll hit you up then. A podcast, let me know. Because I've seen the one that you've done with Christy about Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is really, really cool. I can hear Bumblebee in your voice. I remember this one clip where Sideswipe calls up to find Pops and you're like, Sideswipe? You, I don't think you should have made this off this person. <laughs> so you call me up to a spry. Let's rev up that rollout. Yes. There you go. That's for you. And we here, we can do that. Hi, Catherine. Hi, I'm Alpha. Hello, Amber. Thank you. I'm Isabel from Animal Crossing. Thank you. Animal Crossing. I wanted to ask you because I noticed on your table it's just really Dr. Neil and Catherine Rachel Prince. I'm just disappointed you don't have a magic spell with Prince. Um, I want to ask you, when you were doing the voice of Magica, did you watch the Magica from the 1987 series was by June Parade, or did they ask you for your own take on Magica? They didn't, yeah, they, I didn't, I didn't listen to any of them. Oh, is it? And they just let me do it on my own. I, I wouldn't want to do it either. I did it or it's been me. And I, also, I guess I wanted to do it on my own. But it was lovely. So, like, yeah, definitely. I was going to say, yeah, David's there is all Scrooge McDonald. Oh, so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. Shoot. Incredible, yeah, of course. I mean, my brother's favourite scene, so I was like, my God, I'm going to sign it. I'm also going to sign a piece of music. Yeah. Hello. Thank you so much. Oh, let's get another photo. We gotta get a photo with him. Stop, stop filming. Yeah, stop. Oh. <laughs> it's almost like, yeah, that was uh, that was wild. Like, I just came to my room and put a cardboard tube in my head. You know. <laughs> yeah. And then things got really weird. I'm the one you did obviously about the Thomas and the separate one. The one where he just he just falls off and says messages to Thomas to my brother. You know. I miss him. Thank you so much for this. Um, Thank you. Very nice. so much respect for you. Thank you. You'll, you'll figure out that you, don't, you shouldn't have to walk. While you still hold me in reverence, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Have a lovely one. This is the Mario Kart tournament. Oh. I've mainly really been vlogging, like, not, well, not really been vlogging because I've just been really enjoying the con atmosphere. It's just nice to be back. So, 
if I don't take a lot of videos from starting from this point of the video, that's why. I'm just enjoying myself, being a normal Tongoer. But I've signed up to do a Super Smash tournament, Super Smash Brothers, so I will document that.
Do what, sorry? I believe we have a mutual friend between us. Oh, we do? Yeah, Raymond Franzman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I've got his own Facebook. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I did a sketch of Bumblebee for you. Oh, oh look at that. How do you know Raymond? We just kind of met through Transformers, we just got, got talking during lockdown. Oh, it's me. It's a boy. Oh, yeah. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Oh, oh my god, hi, Mark. I like your outfit. Thank you. It's um, Isabel Flamble Crossing. It's very nice. I nearly came with the same outfit. Exactly the same outfit. Really? No. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun, though? Wow. Oh my god, where did your beak come from? Sorry. Um, that's nice. Great! Wow. So, I, I, so are you British or American? I've always wondered. What do you think? No, are you American? I'm from Birmingham. You're from Birmingham? I'm from Castle Bromwich in Birmingham. Oh my god! Yeah. I always thought. I live in Sully Hall. Wow. Yep. So, yeah, in fact, I bet most people in the States and Canada, by the way, call me. Most people in the States go, would not know. Thank you for like all the childhoods. Oh, like, man, like childhoods. That's incredible. Fee, 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 forget me not. <laughs> Four not. And snuck Fee, fee. Have you seen Cinco? Amazing. A flash of Maxi, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Flash, yeah, flash the rabbit with Peter Kay. He rode a racer car. At the moment, he didn't take the racer car. Yeah, and still, so still, the boss was a racer. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah. We, we we all worked together. Wow. It was amazing. Uh, and uh, Mr. Murray Walker, he came and visit as well. Very nice. Wow. Oh my God. Run away! Run away! Johnny Brown, yeah. Scooby Doo, and Shaggy. Yeah. I'd like to ask you, have you met their like original voice actors? Like, have you met Jeff Bennett, who's Johnny? Yeah, uh, I've never met Jeff. Have you met Frank uh, Walker? Like Scooby, um, I met Don Messick just before he died. Really? A beautiful, a lovely man. Wow. So I mean, Don, Don Messick was the voice of uh, Muttley in Wacky Races. Yeah. A, a, a load of, so yeah, I, I mean, Jeff was. Uh, I, I'd love to meet Jeff, but we. Uh, there were, we, there were like two separate projects they did all at the same time so I was the voice of Johnny over here uh, and Euro and, and for like three years and then we did um, uh, and then I met Don Messi really well early on me starting out wow. at, at a gallery and he's such a nice man wow. yeah so yeah, I'd have loved, I would have loved to have met Mel Blanc and I'd love to have met Jim Henson but uh, it was so nice to meet Don and now, I'm, and now I get brought into um, you know, when they do projects over here, like for like Cartoon Network and CITV and toys and games and commercials, I get brought into Scooby, it's lovely. That is so cool. So, have you met like Frank Welker as well? Or not? No, I get a hero. I'd love to. He's great. Wow. Have, have a good rest of the day. Love to meet you. Bye. Host of this talk, which is Tabitha. This is the Charles Martin, a guest tour. And also introducing the uh, the guest of this talk, which is Charles Martinet. Amazing voice acting. You might know as uh, Mario. Hello. Oh, you can hear me. Hi. Hi. Hello. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> Comic Con Telford Takeover. How are you doing? I'm hungry. I'm so happy to be here, everybody. Thank you so much. I'm the luckiest guy in the world because I get to do what I love to do in life. Part of the mask. Let's take it back to the early stages of your career. Yes. How how did you become Mario? What was the audition process you know, like? I actually I was I was doing what actors do. I was sitting on the beach waiting for the pager to go off. And it did, and it was a friend of mine, I, I left the beach, I got on the phone, because I thought he was going to say, come and have dinner. And he said, oh, you've you got to go do this audition for a show I'm doing in Las Vegas. I said, there is no way I would ever crash an audition. I'm a professional, where should I go? And I have no idea why, but I left the beach, I drove, I got a parking space, I walked in the door. Just as I was walking in, the producer was walking out. They'd already put the camera away. Already we were on the way to the bar for a cocktail. And I said, can I read for this? 
and he, I saw the Sony's bag, and I knew that was his, the camera bag. He goes, all right, come on inside, we'll put the camera back up. You're an Italian plumber from Brooklyn for this uh, a company called Nintendo, and the character's name is Mario, and you're gonna talk to people all day long with this real-time animation system, and we have no idea if it's gonna work or not, but if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna pay you to drink coffee, so start talking, and when you run out of things to say, that's your audition. And I thought, you know, Italian plumber from Brooklyn, hey, get out of my face, I'm to here. I thought, I don't wanna do that, it's too crass. I want to do something more happy. And I, uh, the, game, the voice that came to me was I had done in Gremio and changed me the shoe. Nice Italian guy. Make it younger. And I heard action. I heard, hello, I'm a Mario. Let's make a pizza pie together. You want to get some sausage. I'm going to get some spaghetti. You put spaghetti in the sausage and the pizza. And then I chase you the pizza. And if I catch you the pizza, you got to eat the pizza. And I thought he would then say, cut. And he didn't. So I remembered one direction, don't stop. So I said, and then you're gonna make a pizza. And you chase me the pizza, and if you eat that, catch me the pizza, I'm gonna eat the pizza. And then we're gonna make a lasagna. I'm gonna chase you the pan with a lasagna pan. If I catch you the lasagna pan, you gotta jump in the pan and eat the pan. So I just kept going and going until I ran out of pasta. And then I started making up pasta. And we're gonna make a rosto del telio. And I chase you with the rosto del telio, and you're gonna eat the rosto del telio. And I, I, I just kept going and I was having fun. I loved the character. What are the reactions? <laughs> but I finally heard, stop talking, cut, there's no more tape, thank you, we'll be in touch. And I thought that was the end of it. I thought, okay, I'll go back to the extent. Da, 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 da. But he got on the phone, he called Nintendo, he says, I found our Mario, I got him. And that was the only tape that he sent up to Nintendo. 31 years ago, before you were born, young lady, well, when I was a kid, you had to act uphill both directions. <laughs> Crazy. So you went into it not knowing anything about. I knew um, absolutely. I'd never heard of Mario. Never heard of Nintendo. The last video game I played was waka 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 waka. You know, that was it. I knew nothing. Wow. Yeah. And now, thirty years later, you're still the voice of Mario. Thirty-one years later. Yep. One hundred and twenty-five games. I have a Guinness Book of World Record of the most character of a, of a, in a video game. That's incredible. And it's just been 31 years of absolute joy and fun. But you haven't only just uh, voiced Mario, you do another, a lot of other Oh yeah, Luigi number one, Luigi number one. Ho oh, ho! And Wario, have a rock day. Ah ho! Oh, pardon me. Mommy said say something nice. Oh yeah. There. And Luigi, everybody cheap at me. Eh? And baby Luigi, and baby Mario. Wahoo! Rule. I'm not allowed to say one single word about it. I Next can't piece. even tell myself I'm because I'm such a blabbermouth, so I'm not allowed to say a single word about it, but I hope you enjoy it. That's, that's what I can say.